first to those stranded passengers and the rush to get out while they can. Because the volcano in Iceland is at it again, spewing more dangerous ash into the sky. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer is in London with the very latest. Liz, good morning. Good morning, Maggie. Well, I'm back at Heathrow, which normally should be buzzing with activity. You can probably see behind me nothing moving there and nothing's going to move, according to the authorities, until at least early afternoon. However, we have seen some tiny planes go over, way overhead. Above 20,000 feet, the airspace is open, so the planes can go above the volcanic cloud. But in Europe, things are, as you said, significantly better. In fact, Euro Air Traffic Control says they expect half the flights today to operate normally. It started last night when these students stranded in Newark, New Jersey, learned their flight to Germany would be taking off. I'm so happy to, to go back. <laughs> there were also a handful of U.S. passengers trapped in Europe who finally made it home. When we were going up, people started clapping because they realized we were the first plane to leave um, Europe. And so it was like, I said, I'm not clapping until we hit New York soil. And that's when I clapped. I was like, yay! But that's the exception. Frustration and disappointment are the rule as tens of thousands of people remain grounded, including 40,000 Americans stuck in the UK, which has been hardest hit by the flight closure. The volcanic cloud that's built up since last Thursday is moving over northern Europe, and in places it's thinning. That's let officials divide European airspace into three zones. An open one where flights will be allowed, a caution zone where planes will be allowed at some altitudes, and an off-limits or no-fly zone. Meanwhile, the volcano in Iceland is still erupting, although there may be a glimmer of hope in that it appears to be spewing more lava now and less ash. So that's uh, good news for travelers, but good news for the airlines too. Do you know that they've had to cancel 95,000 flights in the last few days? So huge pressure to take to the skies again. But of course, safety has got to come first in a situation like this. Maggie? Yes, it can't be premature. Liz Palmer in London, thank you. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.